just for a few moments. This is an important and very special uh, ceremony that we started last year. And uh, what a wonderful segue. The three speakers, all of them this morning, spoke about something that focused on integrity in our decisions and choices. CBMC, which stands for Christian Businessmen's Connection, has been your host this year and the last two years of this event to bring it here to the Valley. And last year we had our very first uh, uh, recipient of the CBMC Leadership and Integrity Award. So I want to introduce you right now to Dr. Bud Richter, a leader in our community and industry, as well as in the community throughout many, many uh, uh, places. Bud and his wife, Jan, have made a big impact. Bud, as our first recipient, is going to introduce you to this year's recipient of the CBMC Leadership and Integrity Award. Bud, welcome and so glad to have you. Thank you, Gary and Tom Summers and CBMC. Last year when they talked to me about this award, I said, you got the wrong person. You should be selecting Lou Herwald. And I really meant that, but one good thing is I now get a chance to introduce to you Lou Herwald as this year's recipient. Uh, the, we have three minutes in my part to be able to tell a little bit about you, and I, and I can't tell all I would like to, but four years ago, he was selected to be the Leon S. Peters Award recipient, which is for the outstanding uh, philanthropist, for the outstanding community leader and volunteer in, this, uh, in our community. It's a great honor. I don't know if any of you are looking for a role model, but I want you to consider having this man be your living role model here in this community. Now, I'm going to tell you a few things about him. In uh, 1985, GMC, uh, Automobile Corporation, who manufactured at that time Cadillac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Pontiac, uh, Chevrolet, and GMC, decided they want to launch a whole new car, create a new car, something that they would be so proud of that would be benefit from all the experience they had. In order to do this, they realized wisely they had to get some experience from some of the automobile dealers who deal with the customer, deal with the franchise and the operation. So out of the 20,000 plus GMC dealers in Canada and the United States, and that's my figure, I'm just guessing, they decided they needed 15 of their automobile dealers to help GMC create and launch this new car. Lou Herwalt was one of those 15 dealers out of the 20,000 in the United States and Canada. They chose to come meet with them monthly and launch this new Saturn car. That gives you the idea of what his peers think of him. Another thought that you may be interested in of his past is that Lou served on the Community Hospital Board of Directors for many years. The board chose him to be their leader and their chairperson from 1990 to 1995. During his term and leadership there as chairperson, community hospitals negotiated with the Fresno County Board of Supervisors to purchase and acquire the then Fresno County Hospital Valley Medical Center across from the fairgrounds. The merger of bringing that Valley Medical Center into community hospitals and now the creation of the Community Medical Center Trauma Center and Emergency Room provides us with a great quality uh, place for health care, but it also is the second busiest trauma center and emergency room in all of California. And one last little story is that uh, when Lou and Joanne purchased the Mercedes automobile dealership here in 1994, the first day of their ownership, they called all the employees together they brought them in, and, and Lou and jo Joanne talked about their values, their character, their choices, uh, that this would be a family business. They invited them to come and, and join them, respect them, and we'll respect, they would respect them and you. And uh, then Lou invited them to pray with him. They prayed for Christ's presence in, in this business and uh, through the ups and downs that they would persevere. And I personally have met two of those employees who were in that meeting that morning and prayed with uh, Lou and Joanne. And they said, Lou Herwalt is the best boss I have ever, ever had. 
And they're still saying that when I talked to one of them just a few months ago. Lastly, uh, I'd like you to know that Joanne and Lou are role models and mentors to my wife Jan and me. I've known Lou for 35 years. And so if you're looking for a role model, again, I encourage you to think about them. And ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege now to introduce to you CBMC's Leadership and Integrity Award recipient for 2012, my friend, very good friend, Lou Herwald. It's hard for me to even say anything after all that. Bud and Jan are great friends of ours. I have followed Bud in all of those positions that he's talking about, in the, not in the car business, but at the hospital. He was the chairman of the board before I was the chairman of the board. He's been my leader. He's been somebody that I've followed and have great respect for. He's been very successful. He's very in, involved in this community. And it's a pleasure for him and I to be friends for all these years and I thank God for that friendship. I want to introduce to you, you know, in order to be a leader, in order to be successful, in order to do anything in life, particularly when you get married and uh, begin a family and want to walk the road of life, to have a partner that God blessed me with in my wife Joanne, and to have somebody that works right alongside of me. She's very gifted in her own right. But it, I don't stand on this platform alone. I stand with her because she's been my greatest asset for the past 60 years. We've been married for 60 years. We have two children. We have two children. My son is back there, Dan Herwalt and Patty Hickton. And we had five grandchildren. What else went after that? We had <laughs> nine great grandchildren. We have nine great grandchildren and two more on the way. And we thank the Lord for all of that. One thing Joanne and I have talked about this past couple of weeks, knowing that we were going to receive this particular award. And I want to thank Tom, Tom Summers, for giving me this great opportunity. I, I'm humbled to stand before you today uh, because we start life and we start together and we walk one step at a time, one year at a time. And now Joanne and I have celebrated 60 years of being together and caring about each other and loving each other and loving our family. God gave us some success in life, but our foundation is built, both of us, on our faith that we have in God. God has given us all the talents that we have. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. And Joanne and I realize that. And our family is the greatest gift that we have. And I believe to be a leader in a community or to be a leader anywhere. If you are married and have children, leadership needs to start at home. If you're not a leader at home and you try to be a leader in the community and a leader in the, in the marketplace, it doesn't work. And when we start in life, we don't think about our reputation. What we think about is just getting ahead and moving along. But whatever my reputation is, it has come about after 60 years in the marketplace. I can't change that reputation. So remember, leadership starts in the home and then goes out into the marketplace. Remember that integrity, honesty, and faithfulness is a trait that all of us have to have if we're going to be leaders. And without that, you can't be. And your reputation you can't change. I can't change my reputation in the Fresno community. What it is, it is. And what your reputation will be one day is what it is. So I thank you for coming. And I commend all of you for coming to this leader cast. 
that you might learn a little bit more of what it means to be a leader. And you've heard Tim Tebow and Urban Myers uh, tell what leadership is. It's applying yourself one day at a time, stay with it. But having a great partner in life for me is my greatest asset outside of God and my friends like Bud Richter. So, partner, what are you going to say? <laughs> Well, I usually don't speak in public about my husband. <laughs> but I guess if I, just off the top of my head, if I was just thinking about uh, maybe four things uh, that I know about Lou uh, is that he has strength, um, he's well prepared, he cares, and he listens. I think that's what I would say about you, Lou. And the other thing is, if I knew then what I know now, I'd have married him at 12. <laughs> I just want to thank again Bud for the kind remarks. He elaborated on them more than I, I deserve, but I'm grateful for that. And thank Tom again for the reward award uh, and I hope and pray that all of you one day will and some of you are already leaders great leaders you're coming here just to learn a little bit more about it and to see these names that are on that sheet my name's not on that sheet so I need to get out of the way and I thank you very much for listening to me <laughs> thank you Bud Richter Thank you, Lou and jo Joanne Herwalt.